Just got back from uh, visiting uh, some family down in Knoxville, and while I was down there, I uh, saw an ad for this uh, Magnavox word processor um, on Craigslist. So I stopped by, picked it up, you know, bought it from a real nice guy down there. The thing's in excellent condition. It's not really a computer, but it's still you know 80s related. So I thought I'd pick it up and uh, make a video. It's a Magnavox Video Writer 250. Um, yeah, it just uh, you know, it just does word processing stuff like that. It's got an amber monitor. This one's you know very clean. It uses these special uh, Magnavox dis uh, low density discs. Uh, you could, according to the manual, you could use a 720k floppy drive if uh, floppy disk if you don't uh, have one of these Magnavox discs. But it won't have the uh, dictionary. This one uh, comes with the original uh, warranty registration card. The instruction manual, which is very handy, because this thing, as I'll show you later, is yeah, it's a slightly counterintuitive to use. Not really what you'd expect. And uh, this is pretty cool. It's the accessories list where you could buy your uh, different accessories. You got the cartridges, and uh, it's got a special uh, document feeder. You could buy extra discs. And it's got a really uh, interesting looking vinyl carrying case. I've actually seen a couple of those uh, for sale on eBay. If uh, anyone's interested, you might want to grab one. They have that the cartridges too. Uh, this was made in 1988. Uh, and they discontinued the cartridges shortly thereafter, but they're still available. You can see some prices here. You know, you get your uh, paper feeder for 250 disc for 8 bucks. You know, carrying cases, uh, 70 bucks. You get the original uh, warranty registration card here. Never filled it out. So, uh, you, maybe I'll fill it out so I can just look at the warranty. Make your last uh, typing mistake. This is like a little brochure. It tells you some of the features. You know, uh, 50,000 word dictionary. Add your own thousand words. Standard disc holds up to 70 pages. I'm surprised you'd think a 720k floppy disk would be able to hold more than that, but uh, guess not. And this is the uh, disk. Let's go power this thing up. Let me say, this thing's in excellent condition, no scratches or anything. It's just really well taken care of. The uh, guy I bought it from is the original owner. Uh, it's not coming out too well on the camera, but it says, please insert video writer disk doesn't work a lot of discs so let's put that in there saying please wait and it's got some uh, documents here I got uh, let's see if I can get that going you got the one that comes with one that I kind of tested a little bit uh, the welcome documents pretty good um, what you do is you just uh, type on the keyboard here the document you want in this case it'd be two for welcome and uh, you think you can enter nope this uh, keyboard's got a special key, it's called DO. So, uh, why they didn't just use the enter key like everyone else at the time, I don't know. I guess I said it'd be different, but you're going to be using this DO key a lot. Gives you a little setup page where you can set the margins and all that fun stuff. Uh, I'm not going to play with any of that, but it, it is pretty cool. It's like a, it's kind of like a typewriter, uh, but just much more advanced. I guess it's what they call it, a video writer as opposed to a typewriter. But it's a pretty cool little word processor. You know, the you know the screen's pretty small, but uh, it is widescreen, which was unusual for the time. Usually the monitors were uh, pretty square. So uh, when you get done with that, you just hit do again, and it brings up a little pre-made document. You know, dear video writer owner, thank you for choosing Magnavox Video Writer. All that fun stuff. Uh, but I'm not going to read that whole thing. I just want to do a little demo on uh, printing. Now this one right here, you think, oh, I could just uh, load the paper ahead of time, no problem. No, it doesn't do that. It doesn't do anything until, uh, I guess I could, you could leave it there, but it won't actually feed the paper until you uh, hit the uh, print key. And then you can put the you know, number of pages you want, uh, you know, uh, whatever options and you hit the uh, do key and then you gotta kinda just feed it in there there it goes 
And then you have to hit the do key again. And it'll start printing. This uh, printer actually uh, uses a thermal uh, kind of ribbon, so it kind of like burns it directly onto the paper. Gives it a clear, uh, clear image. And maybe I should have set the margins a little bit better. It looks like it's off to the left a bit. But uh, apparently with this thing, if you were out of ribbon, you could actually just use thermal paper and it'll, uh, it'll actually print right to thermal paper without a ribbon. Pretty, you know, this thing's got definitely got a lot of interesting designs on it. Print speed's a bit slow, but, uh, you know, for the time, it's uh, not too bad, you know, considering. If you look up top here, you got the, your uh, feed keys. You can adjust the darkness of the uh, print. This, uh, you know, you can adjust the uh, darkness of the screen. You know, if it's too rough on your eyes and whatnot. You know, it's, uh, you know, just a pretty... Uh, we can see a pretty basic word processor now. It does have a couple of games. I think it has like an anagram game. I was reading the instruction manual. I didn't play with it, but uh, nah, not much for games. Just you know, another classic piece of uh, 1980s technology. We're just going to wait for it to get done printing and uh, take a look at the document. Shouldn't take too much longer. It's, uh, I already tried this one out, just one page. You could abort the printing at any time by uh, hitting the cancel key, but I want to print the whole page. Just to uh, give an example how long it takes to do it. Should be done in uh, a few seconds. Do 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 do. Come on, give me it. Come on. Uh, there we have it. It's done. You need the whole document there, and uh, well, this one uh, no, it really doesn't fit my collection, so I'm gonna probably put this one up for sale on eBay too. Uh, so keep an eye out for it. Thanks for watching.